But to me nothing, the negative, the empty, is exceedingly powerful. A myth is an image in terms of which we try to make sense of the world. The difficulty for most of us in the modern world is that the old-fashioned idea of God has become incredible or implausible. Buddhism has in it no idea of there being a moral law laid down by some kind of cosmic lawgiver. Religion is not a department of life, it is something that enters into the whole of it. The religious idea of God cannot do full duty for the metaphysical infinity. And although our bodies are bounded with skin, and we can differentiate between outside and inside, they cannot exist except in a certain kind of natural environment. The myths underlying our culture and underlying our common sense have not taught us to feel identical with the universe, but only parts of it, only in it, only confronting it, aliens. I have realized that the past and future are real illusions, that they exist in the present, which is what there is and all there is. Things are as they are. Looking out into it the universe at night, we make no comparisons between right and wrong stars, nor between well and badly arranged constellations. But I'll tell you what hermits realize. If you go off into a far, far forest and get very quiet, you'll come to understand that you're connected with everything. Saints need sinners. So what is discord at one level of your being is harmony at another level. The reason we want to go on and on is because we live in an impoverished present. But we try to pretend, you see, that the external world exists altogether independently of us. Wars based on principle are far more destructive, the attacker will not destroy that which he is after. The moralist is the person who tells people that they ought to be unselfish, when they still feel like egos, and his efforts are always and invariably futile. In known history, nobody has had such capacity for altering the universe than the people of the United States of America. And nobody has gone about it in such an aggressive way. If you study the writings of the mystics, you will always find things in them that appear to be paradoxes, as in Zen, particularly. So the Bodhisattva saves all beings, not by preaching sermons to them. But by showing them that they are delivered, they are liberated, by the act of not being able to stop changing. The style of God venerated in the church, mosque, or synagogue seems completely different from the style of the natural universe. You and I are all as much continuous with the physical universe as a wave is continuous with the ocean. Nothing in life is to be feared, it is only to be understood. Now is the time to understand more, so that we may fear less. Never pretend to a love which you do not actually feel, for love is not ours to command. You are that vast thing that you see far. Far off with great telescopes.